Welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnel Custodio, and today we will be going through how to create a new email account in cPanel. Email has become an integral part of our lives and is used in everything from purchase receipts to identification. Creating an email account with your domain name can help with brand recognition or provide you a private avenue of communication that you share only with friends and family. This tutorial will take you through creating and modifying an email account. We will also show you how to access that account with the default webmail clients that come with your hosting account. Before you begin, you will need a web hosting account and an active domain name in order to be able to access your newly created email address. You can log in to cPanel through the Account Management Panel, or AMP, or by using the URL for it. For example, https colon forward slash forward slash example dot com forward slash cPanel. If you log in through AMP, then you can click on the icon labeled cPanel Login. Log in to cPanel, then go to the email section and click on Email Accounts. When you get to the main email accounts page, you will see the list of created email accounts. If you haven't created any yet, then you'll only see the default email account. Click on the Create button on the right side of the interface. When you get to the Create New Email Account screen, you'll notice several sections, Username, Security, Storage Space, and Automatically Create Folders for Plus Addressing. The username will need to be unique. You can't have duplicates. Notice the domain name is shown at the end, so you will not need to type it in. If you have multiple domain names in an account, then you will be able to select one here. Type in the name for your new email account. Security is the section where you can add the password. You have the option to auto-generate the password or type it in yourself. You can also elect to send a message to an alternate email address so that the user can set the password. Decide how you want the password to be created. Then type it in or use the password generator for the account as needed. The next section is the storage that you can make available for that email account. The default value is 250 megabytes for an account, though you can easily change it. You can also elect for the account to have an unlimited amount of space, though this is not really true. No hosting account has an unlimited amount of space. However, if you don't want to set a hard limit, then select the unlimited option. The last section you will see when creating an email account in cPanel is for something called plus addressing. Plus addressing, also called sub addressing, is an email feature that cPanel recently added. It allows a user to deliver emails in a certain way so that you can organize them when they come into your inbox. You can find more about it by clicking on the link above. There is also an option for a welcome email on how to set up a mail client and an option to stay on the account creation page if you're creating more than one email account. The welcome email is checked by default and the stay on page option is not checked. Check or uncheck these options as per your needs. Once you've finished creating the account, click on the create button. If you didn't elect to stay on the account creation page, you'll then be sent back to the list of email addresses. You should see the newly added email address. If you wish to modify the account, then you can click on Manage to edit the account. If you misspelled the email address, then you must first delete the email account and then recreate it. You will be able to select the email in the list and then click on the Delete button above the top left hand side of the list of email accounts. In order to access the email account through webmail using an internet browser, you can type in your domain name followed by webmail. For example, https colon forward slash forward slash example dot com forward slash webmail. There are two webmail clients available to all hosting accounts by default, Horde and Roundcube. You can choose the one you want to use on this page and even decide which one opens by default when accessing your webmail. This concludes our tutorial on creating a new email account in cPanel. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. 
we provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.